Hey everyone, Dr. Retro here and in this video it's time to check out my PlayStation 1 collection. So what you see here is my PlayStation 1 display cabinet, original from the store. I didn't own a store but I bought it from a collector that got it from a store. And as you can see it's filled to the brim with PlayStation 1 games and I actually have a lot more PlayStation 1 games that fit in than that fit in here. But let's start anyway. So on the top we have my um, best or rarest PlayStation 1 games. Team Buddies you see there, Star Ocean, Habericus Popoito, Tombi 1 and Tombi 2, also known as Tomba in the United States, Kula World, Suikoden 1, Suikoden 2, Castlevania, Symphony of Darkness Part 1 and Part 2, or Symphony of the Night, sorry. Uh, that one is Grand Theft Auto, the double feature, which is actually the rarest European PlayStation 1 game out there. If you want to know more about that, check out my video I made just about that game. Second row. We have a lot of RPGs, the XCOM games, Legacy of Kain, Marvel vs. Capcom, some fighting games, Rapid Reload. And these are commemorative discs and they were printed out and released uh, to commemorate a certain amount of PlayStation discs being printed. For instance, this Gran Turismo version, let me show you that. As you can see here, Gran Turismo. Let's open it up, trying with one hand. And you can see it's to mark the production of 100 million PlayStation discs. Uh, this black case you see here is the Rapid Racer version and this is a Tekken 3 version that got released to commemorate a certain event in Athens. So back to the games. This is a PlayStation 2, one hip flask, VIP ribbon, really cool game, Mega Man, um, Mega Man uh, Battle and Clash, Racing, Harvest Moon, Parodius, really hard to find, Herx Adventure. This is actually a rare soccer game or football, whatever you want to call it. And that's because this is the HMV release and as you can see it has a holographic front cover and that's basically why it's rare. And then Blues Clues Big Blues Blues Big Musical. This is actually one of the rarest Paul games as well. Top 5. Uh, this is only the first one I ever saw. I know some other collectors have it too but really hard to find. I've been looking for it for years before I had it. So the normal games. Let's go through them in a good pace. These are all RPGs. If you want to check something out just pause the video because I can't wait too long because if I want to show every game separately it will take hours. The Lunar 1 and Lunar 2 box set, Arc the Lad box set, some Disney box sets, Driver box set over there. I have a whole bunch more box sets but those are all in storage and you can check them out on my uh, other collection video, the long version. Some really cool games here in the Hunt, the Mega Man series at 8, X3, X4, X5, X6, Philosoma, hard to find shoot 'em up game, G Darius, Disc Worlds, R Types, Strider 2, Crash Games, the Namco Museum 125, which spell out Namco if you put them next to each other. Pop and Pop, which is actually uh, Bust a Move or um, Bubble Bubble. The Art World games, Pandemonium. Really liked that as a kid. Mortal Kombat, one of my favorite fighting series. Actually, it is my favorite fighting series. Metal Slug. Over here, you have a Pocket Station, which is a uh, yeah, what is it? It's a memory card slash figure. It's a really strange Japanese thing. Didn't get released in Europe. These are all big box games or double jewel case games, whatever you want to name them. There you have the Final Fantasy games, 7, 8, and 9. They all got released in these double jewel cases. These games are all on order of purchase, so when I bought a new game I just put it in here. Uh, some are on series, but most of these are just added later. So there's no real system in these. Spyro games, Resident Evil games. These are all smaller box versions. Let me show you the difference. This is a normal PlayStation 1 box, PAL, European. 
and we put it next to these. These are smaller. Why? No one really knows, but they just are. Little Big Adventure, one of my favorite games. But you should know that by now if you've watched my videos before. Then we have some official rental games. These are games that were officially for rental only and they have some they have a special backside that is the manual. So there's no manual to, to lose. It's just the back of the disc or the back of the box. There you have some more bubble bubble. These are all Street Fighter games. Sorry for the bad angle here, but we're really close to the floor. Chocobo Racing, quite a hard to find game. Taxi 2, only released in France. And that was the last of the cabinet. Then we'll go to another pile of PlayStation 1 games next to the cab. Again, just by order of purchase. And in my opinion, I'm pretty much done with my PlayStation 1 collection. So I don't expect a lot to be added anymore to this. And I recently even cleaned out my collection and got rid of about 50 to 100 games. Because I need to draw a line somewhere. Rival School is also quite a special fighting game. And there the last one's Medieval 2. And I hope you could see that all. Now, like I said, I have even more so off to the boxes with PlayStation 1 games. This is a box full of PlayStation 1 games that came in after I filled up the cabinet. And let's hope I can show you them without too much glare. This one, for instance, Time Bokan Yataman, only got released in, uh, in uh, Italy. Quite a hard to find game, or at least in the rest of Europe. Twisted Metal, which is really strangely quite rare. It's quite a big title, but finding it is very hard. Treasures of the Deep. Reboot Bomberman World, also not a very easy to find title. Then the top right ones are all sealed. I put them extra baggy around them to prevent them from getting damaged. And that was it for this box. And then the last few games I want to show you are my NTSC PlayStation 1 games. So this is the NTSC section. All these games didn't get released in Europe and pretty much all of them are RPGs. Top here is Tales of Destiny 2 and Ogre Battle, the limited edition version, Persona 1 and Persona 2 and then we have Beyond the Beyond, Brave Fencer, Mushashi, Bridge and Dean, Chrono Cross, Dragon Warrior 7, um, can't read that, that's Final Fantasy Chronicles, Final Fantasy Tactics, one of my favorite tactical RPGs ever, pretty much my favorite tactical RPG ever, um, Hoshigami, Legend of Mana, Parasite Eve 1. We did get Parasite Eve 2, we didn't get Parasite Eve 1. Even though the games don't have a lot to do with each other. Rhapsody, RPG Maker, Saga Frontier 1. Again, we did get Part 2, didn't get Part 1 in Europe. Silhouette Mirage, Sayuki Journey West. Then here we have Tales of Destiny 1, Thousand Arms, Threads of Fate, Twisted Metal, Small Brawl, Valkyrie Profile, Vanguard Bandits, Wild Arms 2, we did get part 1, part 3, 4 and 5, but didn't get part 2. Einhander, really cool shoot 'em up game. Xenogears and Tactics Ogre. So that was my PlayStation 1 collection. Like I said, if you want to see the big box, the limited editions, the press kits, etc. Be sure to check out my other videos. Also check out my complete collection video, a long video where I show everything. And uh, like me on Facebook to stay up to date on everything. It's facebook.com slash drretromd, drretromd. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.